The chairman of Korea's fifth largest conglomerate latte group is back home this morning after a grueling 18-hour questioning session by prosecutors in Seoul over allegations of corruption and embezzlement. Shin Dong-bin was grilled over accusations he orchestrated a series of shady deals between the group's affiliates in the process of mergers and acquisitions and selling the assets of certain affiliates to others at below market prices. The 61-year-old was also quizzed on whether he was directly involved in having executives at Latte Construction amass slush funds amounting to about 27 million U.S. dollars over the past 10 years. Shin reportedly denied all the charges. He said he was unaware of the funds and deals among affiliates were based on management decisions and not intended to betray the trust of stakeholders. With a three-month-long probe winding down, the prosecution is considering whether to seek an arrest warrant for Shin. In the meantime, they have decided to indict all the key family members involved in managing the group, including Shin's father and the group's founder, Shin Gyeong-ko.